Hi friends. The twist is the number of spiral rotations on the yarn in order to keep the fibers together. Briefly, the twist is the number of turns in a certain length. The twist can be given in right or left direction. The yarn should be twisted in order to strengthen it. The yarn's strength is directly proportional to the amount of twists. However, this proportion is not constant. More twisting after a critical point reduces the yarn's strength. Therefore, the twist amount should be in accordance with the yarn's usage. For this test, we'll utilize a twist measuring device, tensioner weights, a control injector or a magnifying glass and a test sample to be tested. Firstly, samples must be conditioned at standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. Then the conditioned samples are tested in the twist measuring device. Firstly, we prepare the device for the testing process. The twist measuring device has two nippers. One of these nippers is capable of moving in either direction. Primarily, we determine the single ply yarn's twist direction. In order to determine the direction of the twist, nearly 10 centimeters of the yarn are hung down and used. Then it is determined whether the twist direction is to the left or to the right. For this test, the twist direction is determined to be Z direction. The device settings are set accordingly. After nearly five meters of yarn have been taken from the bobbin, they are cut by a pair of scissors. Then, to prevent the twist loss, the yarn is firstly placed at the moving nipper and then at the other nipper. The yarn is passed through the device's guides and the tensioner weight is placed on the yarn whose number has already been determined. Meanwhile, the distance between the two nippers has been set to 50 millimeters. Then the test is started by pressing the start button. And the pointer begins to move from the zero point. The test is carried on until the pointer returns to the zero point again. The device automatically stops when the pointer comes to the zero point. The test for a single sample is completed once the value of the twist from the counter is obtained. 20 samples are tested in the same way and the arithmetic mean of the 20 results is taken. The twist value for 50 centimeters is obtained by dividing the arithmetical mean by 2. As for the twist, for 1 meter the arithmetic mean is multiplied by 2 in order to obtain the twist value. Thank <laughs> you.